All right, we're down in uh, Puyallup at a home backyard nursery. And this guy's got a tremendous amount of trees. Really nice stuff. I mean, it ranges from deciduous to pine. And uh, I think lots of maples as well. So let's enjoy this. Oh man, look at this he alpine hemlock right here. This is beautiful. It's $89. It's already got sexy curves on it. This tree might go home with me today. Okay, so I've scoured this nursery, and this is the sexiest one still. Uh, I love the curves on this thing. Um, and the guy was telling me that this is actually collected uh, locally here from a person who owns some property that they buy these Yamadori hemlocks from. And I love the feel of this, you know, the, the needles are small. I love the, uh, the ramification on this, and this is gonna be a great, great plant to work with. And this one's gonna come home with me today. And $89, not too bad. So this is a nursery stock that I'm gonna to try to turn into a bonsai. <laughs> Hi Blake. There's our alpine hemlock. These are technically Yamadori because they were collected locally. Nice. All right, second stop. We've moved on to Todd's Nursery here in Kuala. And this place is actually pretty big. They've got tons of pots, large rocks, maples pine trees, just about everything here. It's well landscaped. Uh, looks like there's a decent amount of material that you can buy for all soil and gravel and things like that. Uh, really a neat place to be at. So we're gonna check out to see if there's any nice bonsai nursery stock. Check out these giant bamboo trees over here. These are giant. The only time I've seen them a little bit bigger than this is in Hawaii. We're in Puyallup. All right, check this out. Beautiful rootstock on this. Look at the curves in that trunk. This is a $400 um, Alpine Hemlock, which is the same one that I bought at 99 bucks, but you know, definitely not the same kind of curves. Beautiful. But sometimes that's okay. This is a pretty sexy looking beast. Doesn't have a tag on it, but uh, my guess is same variety as this guy, which is a Alpine Hemlock. This tree right here is $459. That is a huge markup compared to what we got earlier. Got some nice curves on them. But man, it's a lot more expensive here. Look at this tree. Tree is popping. Scotch pond pine bonsai. See, look at these nicely twisted branches. Good ramification. It's a nice open air greenhouse. Lots of plants in here. Really cool. Look at that. Blue Star Junipers, little baby ones. All right, check out this. This is where they have some of the pines here. Let's see what they uh, see what they look like. So it's a dwarf mugo pine. 
Oh man, this thing is heavy. Clean that out. Let's take a look at that. Various sizes. Look at that. Pond plants on this side, koi's on this side. Not super deep, but it's in a greenhouse. It keeps it nice and warm. Check out this bridge. How clean this water is. Oh yeah, here we go. Koi Pond inside of Todd's Landscaping and Nursery. Okay. So we just got back from our nursery trip. We visited two different nurseries. And this is the tree I wound up with. This is an alpine hemlock locally collected here. Yamadori, if you want want to use that term um, and it's sold to the nursery uh, apparently the person with property up in the mountains collected these from his property and then sold it to the nursery so that's kind of a cool story that they're grown here actually at a pretty high elevation here in Washington um, and so these guys have slowly and gradually uh, acclimated these plants so it could survive a little bit lower uh, in elevation and they did have some trees that died off, but these guys are the ones that made it. Uh, so I'm really happy to get this. We'll take a look at the base here in a second. But this was a hundred bucks. We went to a nursery no more than about a few miles away and a tree like this was selling for close to $400. So let's check this guy out up close. Okay, so here's the base of the trunk. Uh, it's got a dual trunk, which is it's kind of neat. I got one here that's really straight the other one has some sexy curves and turns into it that creates a lot of interest so this might be the best as far as you know the front goes because you can see both um, and I love how these uh, these hemlocks have really soft small needles and um, they're easy to work with and you don't feel like you know you've run your hand through a bee's nest after you're done playing with them uh, and look at this all the way up to the top really nice We had to kind of bend it to fit it into the Toyota Sienna and uh, I'm really happy with this tree For now, I think all I want to do today is probably repot it and um, Not mess around with it too much because I Don't know what to do with this yet quite yet. I want to study it understand the curves and see what kind of tree I can create out of this. Time for the big boy, Alpine Hemlock. on it and I'll just keep working the soil because I want to put this guy into a bonsai training pot and uh, whoa look at this giant piece whoa look at this giant piece look at that Look at that. Oh man, I lost a lot of important roots in this thing. I probably should have just left it alone to be honest with you. We'll see. It's pretty top heavy. I do want to get into a smaller pot. That is a definite. 
All right, here's the Alpine Pine, or Hemlock, sorry, Alpine Hemlock in its new pot. Um, it did lose a lot of roots because of by a frozen chunk of soil that fell off. It took a lot of the roots with it, uh, and it had to chop off some of the anchoring uh, tap roots to be able to fit it into this pot. So I'm not going to touch this tree for a long time. And see here, I've got actually got it tied to the uh, the posts for the trellis, so that way it doesn't tip over. Uh, overall, I really like this tree. You don't have to do too much to it. Uh, and I'm kind of excited to work with it in the next couple of years.